Welcome to the introductory module of the Medi-Cal Managed Care 101 series. Now you might already know that Medicaid is part of the national safety net designed to support the health of low-income residents across the U.S. But what you might not realize is that it's also a powerful tool for addressing broader social needs like access to food, safe housing, and so much more. Here in California, we call our Medicaid program Medi-Cal, and it's the largest state Medicaid program in the country. If you're familiar with Medi-Cal as a participant or as a public benefit, and are wondering how your organization can become a provider to serve your community, then you're in the right place. This series is designed just for you. As we go through this introductory session and the others to follow, you might hear some new terms. Don't worry, we'll define things as we go, and there are extra resources linked in each module for you to dive deeper if needed. Over the next few minutes, we'll share why we created this series and what you can expect to learn. Our main takeaway? Social conditions directly impact health, and that, in turn, affects the entire healthcare system. And before us is a new way to improve those conditions. Medi-Cal is more than just healthcare. It's an opportunity. It's a way for healthcare plans and other service entities to step up as partners, helping to meet the full spectrum of needs for children and families in our communities. Let's take a step back and talk about Medicaid on a national level. Originally, it was created to make sure that everyone had access to the healthcare services they needed to stay healthy. But as times have changed, so have the challenges. Today, many low-income Americans struggle to meet their basic social needs. Think about it. Sometimes it's easier for someone on Medicaid to get an expensive MRI than to get access to nutritious food. But here's the good news. Medicaid has the infrastructure, the resources, and the potential to be part of the solution. In California, we're in the midst of a multi-year effort called Medi-Cal Transformation, also known as CalAIM. This initiative is all about rethinking how we care for our communities. Through the CalAIM program, enhanced care management and community supports benefits are opening new doors for organizations that truly know and care for their communities, organizations such as yours. Improving the health of Californians means we need to embrace new ideas, foster innovation, and build partnerships that are committed to making a collective impact. We hope this series inspires you to join this movement. As of July 2024, around 15 million Californians are enrolled in Medi-Cal. That's a huge reach, meaning Medicaid has direct connections and a strong local presence in communities across the state. At its core, Medi-Cal provides health coverage for low-income children, adults, and people with disabilities. In the modules on who is eligible for enhanced care management and community supports, we'll dive deeper into who qualifies for these new services under Medi-Cal. By the end of this series, you're going to feel confident in your understanding of Medicaid managed care and how this system can be a powerful tool for improving care and addressing the social factors that impact health. Not only will you gain valuable insights, but you'll also walk away with the foundational knowledge you need to support your implementation and advocacy efforts. We're not here to reinvent the wheel. There's already a ton of great information out there. Our goal is to give you some solid starting points and guide you toward resources that will best support your journey to becoming a Medi-Cal provider. Here's a sneak peek of what's coming up. In module two, we'll give you a high-level overview of what Medi-Cal Managed Care is and why your organization should consider contracting with Medi-Cal Managed Care plans. Module three will explain who qualifies for enhanced care management and community supports. Module four will walk you through the steps your organization needs to take to contract with a Medicaid Managed Care plan. Module five will help you navigate online tools to figure out if participating in Medi-Cal transformation makes financial sense for your organization. Module six will cover the service delivery and data sharing requirements your organization will need to meet if you decide to contract with a Medicaid managed care plan for ECM or community supports. In module seven, we'll dive into the main aspects of delivering ECM or community support services to Medi-Cal members once your organization has secured a contract with a managed care plan. Module eight will give you an overview of what you can expect when it comes to billing and getting paid. And finally, module nine will wrap everything up and point you toward your next steps. At the end of each module, we'll give you a few actionable tasks to help put what you've learned into practice. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We hope you enjoyed the rest of the videos in the series. Mm -hmm.